Hey guys, it's me, My Reborns, and I am back with another video. So today is Thursday, October 14th, and it's currently 5.13 p.m. And I have Reborn Claudia and Reborn Scarlett here. And those are the two babies that I painted and the two babies that I have for sale. And I just wanted to do a very, very quick and short fun little video of them too to show you guys their details and as you guys can see they both have crazy hair so i have brought some brushes the toothbrush and then the regular brush i personally like the toothbrush better than regular baby brushes to do the baby's hair but that's just my preference and then we have the spray bottle with some water in it and so while i do their hair because i'm not going to change them i'm just going to do their hair because i don't like what the baby's hair is all wild and all over the place. I like it when it's maintained and looking nice and sleek and cute. And then I just wanted to show you guys a little bit more of their details. So here we have on the left is Roborn Claudia Asleep by Bountiful Baby. Super cute little tiny baby. Perfect for um, if you're looking for a newborn size baby. I know that I want a newborn size baby girl and if I felt that this baby was more uh, girl than boy I would have definitely kept this baby for myself but uh, when I put the boy clothes on I was like yeah that is a baby boy but um, I don't know the baby still looks cute as a girl as well but this baby had a lot of hair as you guys can see this baby is 18 inches but is on a 17 inch body so this baby is 17 inches but could be put on a 18 inch body possibly even a 19 inch um and so yeah this baby was painted with genesis heat set paint and in a african-american or a biracial skin tone um i feel like this is the darkest baby i've done so i do want to consider this baby uh african-american instead of just biracial this baby is super duper heavy and maybe it's just me but i personally like my babies heavy so like all the babies that i painted i try to give them a little bit of weight just because i like my babies to be really heavy i don't like the babies that aren't too heavy i know i had got a baby um for the most part all of the babies that i've had in the past or like now have been weighted perfectly into my liking so i hadn't had to take any apart and reweigh them um but i did get one baby that was like not weighted at all which made me lose bond and i ended up selling that baby <laughs> because of the weighting issues and that was like back in 2019 and i had no idea how to do any of this stuff like anything that came to reborning i had no clue how to do and I know when I had one of my other babies, um, it was the Greta Kit by Elisa Marks. That baby wasn't weighted either. And so I literally sent her out, like I paid money to send her out and to get weighted. So yeah, that was back when I didn't know how to do like hardly anything. And um, I didn't know anything about rewarding, but now I do. So if I have any problems with any babies waiting, I'll just go ahead and fix it myself. But yeah, that's why I like to do the babies like really, really, um, not really, really heavy. Like, oh my gosh, I can't pick them up. Like they're definitely not on that level, but they're definitely way like perfectly for their size. And so here's Reborn Claudia. This baby is still for so. And then we have Scarlet here. I finished Scarlet in like February, March, and this little one is still here and it's October. I don't know if no one's looking for our babies right now, but we need this little girl sold. We need both of them sold. They want to go to the loving home. They don't want to sit in the closet and not <laughs> do anything. Um, so both of these babies are from Brown for Baby. This one is a real born. This one is just Scarlet. And uh, both of them are authentic legitimate kits however none of them comes with a coa so i will explain that right now before we do scarlet's hair scarlet does not come with a coa because none of the bountiful baby kits come with coas except for realborns claudia however is a realborn baby but she is a seconds kit and the seconds kit does not come with a coa 
so that is why they both don't come with coas but they are authentic kits they all do have the markings um i don't know if it's the reborn thing or if it's the seconds thing but instead of her marking being on like and of course her hair is messed up already again but instead of her marking being on the back of her neck it's actually like on the inside um so you can't see it which i did not know i thought it was going to be on the neck like any other kit but no her stamp it says Roborn claudia is like on the inside of her neck so yeah but she's rooted with uh ruby red black hair curved mohair oops it is mohair it isn't human hair it's small hair and then we have scarlet hair you guys can see there is a big difference oops i bumped into you guys like let me zoom out there is a huge difference between the size this baby is a newborn fits newborn perfectly if i put premium on this baby premium might be too tight because the no the newborn is almost too tight but newborn fits this baby best and zero to three months fits this baby best in three months this baby is 21 inches i think so she is very long her and my gertie by the the eagles eilina they're literally the same size um so if you're looking for a more bigger baby Scarlet's is perfect for you and if you're looking for a little small cuddly baby both of them are cuddly but a little smaller baby claudia is perfect for you so let's go ahead and do scarlet's hair and scarlet is no her hair is like no way as messy as uh, claudia's surprisingly her hair actually stayed intact except for the back but like the front right here that's like perfect look at her as you guys can see they are two different skin tones and i do like to compare my babies especially their skin tones and so that's one thing i do like to do but we're just gonna go ahead and do her hair i'm gonna do her hair we'll just sit her up she's too big i don't know i like scarlet um if i did scarlet's hair a little bit different she was the first baby i've ever rooted but if i did her hair a little bit different i would honestly keep her because this kit is really cute and you guys know me i love bigger babies so if i did oh and plus she has three fourth limbs i'm not a fan of the three fourth limbs but um who knows because there are so many cute babies that have three fourth limbs or three fourth arms and three fourth legs and i'm like they're so cute like i wouldn't even mind just because they're just painted so cutely and the kid is just so cute so um yeah um Roborn claudia has full limbs so full arms and legs so this baby Roborn claudia can wear anything including tank tops and cute little dresses and outfits of that sort but uh little miss scarlet here does have a little bit of a limitation i mean some people don't care if the cloth is showing so she could technically wear whatever she wants as well if you don't care if the cloth shows me personally that's why i just enjoy the full limbs because i don't really have to worry about the cloth showing but yeah so she has three fourth arms and three fourth legs but that also just makes her more cuddlier as well okay so that's me doing her hair she's so floppy show them your hair again this was the first time me rooting as well as putting eyes in a baby this baby was my little experiment baby oh she's waiting so perfectly look at her cute little chubby face she's so cute she has a magnet they both have magnets in their mouth for a pacifier um she has nails on her hands and her feet yeah scarlet has nails on her hands and her feet Claudia does not have nails. I just didn't give her any because I felt that she was too small to have nails. I don't know, just a preference. I felt that she was just way too tiny to have nails. But um, I'm going to take you guys off of the tripod so you guys can get a better look at them. I know they're kind of just like all over, but they're just sharing this boppy. So it looks a little weird, but let me take Claudia. We'll put Scarlet right here and then we'll just have her hold Claudia since she's way bigger. <laughs> Claudia hair gets messed up so easily, which I don't like. I don't like that at all. I want her hair to like stay or his hair to stay more better than what it's doing. But I'm going to take you guys down so you guys can get a better look at them. 
so I took you guys off of the tripod here's those bulbs right here again I painted both of them and they both are for sale Scarlett since she was my first time rooting hair her hair is also brown a very pretty brown super soft mohair she has she's rooted with mohair as well um not the same mohair that she, uh claudia was rooted with but since this baby was like my first baby for um eyes and hair and i think she's painted beautifully but that does reflect in her price so she is only 230 dollars free shipping in the u.s and that 30 dollars is really only covering her shipping because she's a big baby so her shipping is probably going to be around that she will come with a sleeper and an outfit since her price is so cheap she will still come with a beautiful box opening however then she'll come with a few accessories including a um pacifier that's magnetized for her cute little nook pacifier i feel like i never really show her that often or if i do it's like really bad lighting but she has modeling blushing me looking at her right now is going to make me keep her she can also go home as a boy both of these babies can go home as the opposite gender whatever gender you choose the baby will go home with us and it will always include goodies if you want the baby as a boy it will still include goodies if you want the baby as a girl it will still include goodies oh i'm getting tongue-tied but yeah here's her cute little feet stressed out look how cute she has a little blushing she has mottling her creases are done in red since she is a fairly light baby. Here's her hands. I'm creating a shadow because of the light here, but let's see if I can zoom in so I don't create a shadow. There's her cute hands. As you guys can see, she has little nails and her hands are like super red. She's a super red baby. She has veining as well. Um, so that's Scarlet, and then we have Claudia right here. So here's Claudia. No nails for Claudia. She's too little. Claudia has some scratches, two on her face, cute little beauty marks as well. She is a very veiny baby. I decided to give uh, Claudia. A lot of veins, as you guys can see, she has veins here, here, here. So these are the two babies that I have for sale, Scarlett and Roborn Claudia. And before I let you guys go, I'm going to put you guys back on the tripod and I do want to talk about something. It's nothing like, oh my gosh, but it's just something I want to let you guys know and be informed about. So let me put you guys back on the tripod. So before I let you guys go, I do want to say since the holidays are coming up, I decided to go ahead and make budget babies. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start making budget babies. However, they are going to be cuddle babies. That way they can be even cheaper and they will get done fast. So that means I will have more babies available for everyone to purchase. So let me just break it down a little bit without taking too much of you guys' this time. So I will be starting to do some budget cuddle babies in November, hopefully. I have to get at least one or two of these babies sold. Um, I'm gonna start them after Roborn Harlow. So by the time I start Roborn Harlow, hopefully one of the two of these babies are sold. That way I can start making budget babies. And um, so yeah, they're gonna be cuddle babies. I'm going to try to find some cheap heads that way I can make the babies even cheaper than what I'm planning. So I'm planning on the range of $200 if they are bought and then $250 if they are rooted. So I'm gonna offer them bought and if they don't sell in like two weeks of them being bought, then I am gonna root the hair and they will be 250. So I calculated everything, so I calculated the head and I calculated the body because cuddle bodies are actually really, really expensive. They're sometimes even more expensive than the bodies, so like regular bodies. The cloth body, the head, I calculated all that plus my time and my paint and supplies including like stuffing and the glass beads and then of course, you know, 
box packing and that type of stuff so that's why they won't be like in the 100s like 150 180 dollars that's why they would be in the 200 and 250 because they will be coming with stuff not a whole bunch of stuff not a box full of items because again they still are super cheap but just so that whoever buys them can open it and at least see one outfit in there so me and my friend alexis reborns 101 go follow her on instagram and subscribe to her on youtube because she's hosting a giveaway very very soon in december around christmas she's hosting a giveaway so you definitely want to make sure you're subscribed so you guys can go ahead and enter that she's giving away a baby and her work is amazing so you guys definitely want to jump on that but we were talking about budget babies and doing like make to sell budget babies and then i was like that's actually a good idea to do some make to sell budget babies but nowadays the kits are so expensive that's when i was like i can do the cuddle babies because they don't take that long and you guys know i did uh ivy giveaway baby she was a cuddle baby and i was like a lot of you guys like that idea i know cuddle babies are now popular than what they used to be back when who knows who when they came out but i know they're more popular now and they're a great alternative for the cheaper reborns that are authentic and so i've been seeing a lot of cuddle babies but i've been seeing people like sell them for like 800 dollars. and the point of the cuddle babies is supposed to be a cheaper option for the reborns as well as you know helping out people who have dementia and are in the nursing home and um people who just honestly like to give the babies a good snuggle and can't do that with the full vinyl so that's just something that i've been thinking about and i really hope i'm able to do it this year because i know during the holidays it's when it's very busy parents are out buying their kids presents and i know a lot of people will probably be having reborn babies on their list and so i wanted to offer that um some cuddle make to sell baby so yeah they're going to be no more than 250 dollars because i'm trying to keep them on the cheaper side so let me know what you guys think of that that is pretty much it for this video again i have these two babies for sale and then after them i'm going to be painting Wilborn harlow the only reason why i'm not painting Wilborn harlow right now is because if I paint her and finish her and I still have these two babies, there's literally nowhere she can go. Scarlett's price is non-negotiable because I dropped her price down like four or five times. I'm not going to go any lower than 230 Like I said, she's a beautiful doll. She's very detailed. Um, Roborn Claudia, I will negotiate her price or her his price a little bit. That is it for this video. Go ahead and follow me on Instagram at my underscore reborns. Follow my friend Alexis Reborns101 on Instagram as well as subscribe to her YouTube channel. She's been posting very, very consistently. You know, we love to see it. So definitely when I'm not posting, go ahead and check out her videos. And when she's not posting, you guys can come back here and check out mine. Join my membership to see exclusive content. Go ahead and comment down below. I think I'm going to do a little bow. I think I have a hair bow emoji. So... Comment down the hair bow emoji or whatever emoji is on the screen right now because that way it lets me know that you guys watched it all the way through. So yeah, that is it for this video. If you guys like to give it a big thumbs up, comment down below anything you want including a video request. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and also turn on the bell so you guys can always be notified when I post another video. Alright, I will talk to you guys later. Bye!